Hello and welcome to Design Patterns. In this video, I will talk about the Pro Actor and the Reactor. First, let me show you both, and then I will discuss the individual benefits and drawbacks. So the Reactor looks like this, and the Pro Actor looks like this. So what is happening here? We have some client here, and this client calls some method. But we not only have one client, we have multiple clients and we want to work all these requests and execute them. So we have many, many calls here and also in the projector. As you can see, these calls come from outside our application. That's why I drew the process boundary here. So how does the reactor work? Firstly, these requests, for example, via TCP IP are handled in the operating system and we have some event loop running in the reactor. So here we have an event loop and this event loop asks the operating system for the next event. And as soon as some request arrived, it returns it and the reactor does a synchronous call in order to handle this event. And as soon as this is finished, it returns and it asks for the next event. Here the events or the requests are processed one after another. The projector works a little bit differently, but the first step is the same. We have an event loop here, which gets started by the operating system or some external service. And this event loop listens for the next events. As soon as a request arrives, the operating system returns the next event and the projector starts an event handler for this, but asynchronously. Then it listens for the next event again. This continues. The event handler in the background reads the request from the operating system, computes it, and then returns the response to the operating system again. What are the similarities? Both begin the processing as soon as an event arrives. So there is no waiting time here, but the reactor only works on one event at the same time, while the projector works on multiple events at the same time. With the reactor, the results are returned right away after they were calculated. We don't have to rely on some future or promise mechanism, so it's easier to implement. The projector, on the other side, has to rely on some future promise or some mechanism how to return the responses again. Also, if the projector starts too many threads at the same time, this could lead to overwhelming our system and to thrashing. Maybe a good idea would be to limit the amount of asynchronous calls, maybe with a thread pool, and then have some mixture of both systems. So you can start some events simultaneously, but as soon as the thread pool is used up, you have to wait until you can start another event. And that's why I included both in this video, because they are quite similar. And in reality, you have to balance which one of them to use and where the limits are. So. Think of the reactor as a single counter where people are lining up in order to get served and you serve one after another. And the projector is more similar to a waitress in a restaurant, which serves multiple clients at the same time, but maybe could get overwhelmed with all the orders and dishes. And the individual clients maybe have to wait longer until they get their result because multiple others are also demanding their results. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and good day.